Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Daniel the Nerd, and uh, I didn't really get ripped off of the hair with a pair of headphones. It's just they don't, they're kind of broken, like right out of the box. <laughs> and Logitech, because these are Logitech headphones, pretty much straight up said deal with it. Like, I, I couldn't really find anything on the forums page helpful, but I did manage to find a fix for it. Because what this does is, well, like, first of all, like, the audio and voice quality is actually really good. Like, as far as that goes, it's a actually a really good headset. It's only 40 bucks, so it's not, like, the best value you can get for 40 bucks. but unless you're ordering something online, you can't really get much better. But the thing is, it comes with these built-in volume buttons, and these are plagued with all sorts of freaking wiring issues. Now, I'm not going to go in and fix it and change it, because I don't have the know-how to do that, but I was able to deal with it on the software side. Now... I'm going to pull up my screen capture software here in just a minute so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So fixing this headset isn't really hard. In fact, I'm actually using it right now for the microphone. Um, but essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disable the drivers for the buttons on the microphone, which actually aren't that hard at all as long as you know what you're doing. And if you don't, I'm showing you what to do right now. So that's nothing to worry about. But what you need to do is go to device manager if you're on windows 10 just freaking type it into cortana if you're on windows 8 or 7 it's, it's you got to just figure out a way to search it actually if you're on windows 8 i don't remember how to get to it on that but you could just google it because i i don't have windows 8 to show you but what, what you're going to want to do is uh it's under human interface devices because that's like your mouse's keyboards touch screen stuff like that most of the time okay not your keyboards that's there but double click on human interface devices and what you're going to want to do at this point is unplug all of your USB ports except for the microphone. Okay, so now I only have one USB device inputted, but I have two showing up, which is kind of weird. Um, let's see. I don't have a USB hub for, and I already know this one just isn't the right one for my mic, so I don't know what the deal with that one is. I think that's whenever I plug in my USB hub system that gives me extra USB ports, which I don't have plugged in right now, but I think that one stays on my drivers. But either way, it's it's not that one. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just my third USB port reading weird or if it's something with the microphone itself. But it says it's underneath location, bunch of 0, 0, 0, 12, bunch of 0, 0, 0, 1. It just has this really weird number right here. I don't know if that's going to happen with you guys. But if it does, that's obviously the one it is. Um, but... What you're going to, going to want to do is right here where it says, it should say for you right here where it says enable device for me except shut off, it should say disable device. You're going to want to click that. A uh, warning message might pop up, I don't remember, but just hit yes. Um, this should fix the problem right up. Okay, just to make it clear, you didn't disable any of the drivers for the mic or the speakers themselves. Those should still work fine, you just disabled the buttons. That's That's it your microphone should just work perfectly fine uh, your volume shouldn't go max out on you anymore but the only thing is these buttons right here will be completely useless like they won't do literally anything because you just turned them off so you won't have because like the wiring issue is with the volume up, up key and some of them the volume down key so because of those wiring issues and the fact these buttons are now turned off through the computer yeah, sure, your computer's still receiving that continuous on volume plus uh, input, but your computer, because it has drivers disabled, is just ignoring it. So your system volume should stay stabilized. Um, but that's a little piece of advice. Uh, this microphone is <laughs> it's a complete piece of garbage. Just, just This little piece is, now that I have this fixed up, I'm probably still going to buy a new microphone.